All right, guys, <clears throat> doing a little window tinting. So I actually have regular automotive tint. And yes, it's raining outside and I had to go up to the car and get it. So it's got a little water on it, but it's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna take and cut a piece off here. We'll do enough for the back window and that little quarter window. So this tent is 35% and it's just regular automotive tent. So what I've done so far is I bare metal foiled my window and I just took a black Sharpie one on the inside and give it a little black trim. And this side was the same thing and the window's tinted on the side. So 35% gives you just enough to where it says, hey, it's tinted, but I can still see through it. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. So the biggest thing on this is dirt, dirt, dust, anything like that, even your fingerprints. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever done real uh, window tinting in automotive. Uh, can be fun, can be a pain in the butt, um, but yeah. So we're gonna do the inside of the glass, just like you would on a real car. So I'm gonna score this down here. Just give me enough to do both those windows. And the biggest problem I have with window tint is separating the film because there's a clear film on one side and you have the tent on the other side. Now there is adhesive on here. Um, so when you peel this off, there will be a little bit of adhesive. So on real automotive, you are obviously supposed to wet it down with soap and water, but uh, being where we're working with a two by uh, half inch piece or whatever, uh, it's gonna be hard to kind of work that out with a squeegee. So. We're just going to try to lay this down um, one shot. Uh, if you had to pull it and redo it, um, you got to take caution with that because sometimes the adhesive on here, being there's no water, nothing will stick to the plastic. Uh, and then you're starting all over. So it's, it's either one time or none. So it's one of those, just take your time, be careful with it, and go from there. So let's see if I can get this peeled apart here. Probably not going to be able to without putting it right in front of me, which I think that's what's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. So they always tell you to take two pieces of tape and put them on each side of it and then pull the tape and it should separate the film, but I don't have any tape here like that, that'll work. Like just scotch tape. That's what they recommend on it. So if you have some scotch tape laying around, that's the trick to separating these pieces. Had this open once here. All right, so we got her. We got her peeled. So we're gonna do this back window. Now the back window, we might be able to put something on it to help us out, but I don't know. It's I think it'll be kind of tricky. Just have to be careful. It don't fold upon itself because if it does, um, that's game over. Because like I say, the stuff is sticky and it will attached to itself so we're just gonna like I say it's going on the inside of this glass make sure it's nice and clean your fingernail or finger polish clean here all right let's see if I can do this one shot here Not feeling it. I don't think it's gonna happen. So I'll take it, just go we'll start it on the edge, and I'll just work my way down. Maybe a Q-tip will help us out here. Might work a little better. Help kind of burnish it down. Just want to work it through and just take the time with it. I like putting a big sticker on. I'm holding the one side up so it doesn't stick itself down before we get to it. Like I say, biggest thing, you just don't want no air dirt in it, that's all. I'm 
I'm tending the windows of my brother's truck, so I have to have a roll here. <laughs> so it worked out pretty good. Now the end gets a little tricky because I don't want it just flopping down because that's where we're going to get that air pocket in there. I see I got a couple specks of dirt in there. We'll see if it's going to show on the other side. It'll look like the real thing. Just like that. Oh, not too bad. Live with that one little speck there versus redoing the whole thing. Okay. So I'll just take and trim it out. And we're good to go. You want a really nice sharp blade for this. Just like that, one tinted window. So now I'm going to take my Sharpie and we'll go around the edges and I'll kind of seal the deal. Obviously, you can paint this, uh, anything like that, but the Sharpie just seems to work really well. Just one of those things, just gotta be patient with it. Just like real automotive glass, it has a little edging on it. And just like that, one tinted window. So now we can get it bare metal foiled and put it in the car. Cool. It's my little tip trick for you today. <laughs>